Correct. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hello. All right, there we go. Um, all right. I'm going to try to get us on now, right now. <laughs> Not get us off. We all know I can't do that. Yeah, you can. Hi, this hi. is Darren. This is Stud Darren. Hey, Darren. Hey, hey, everybody. Oh, here we are. Right. I think right. we're at. Are we? Oh, that's what I thought. Just give it to Holly. Yeah, turn. Make it real. I don't know. Um, Can you get the sure. Michael? He's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do what you need. I can't do two things at once. That's true. <laughs> Sorry to say that. Whatever you need. I, uh, Take Thank you, dear. I appreciate it. That'd make it really hard for an How do I just, just do it? Do it just like, touch it. What's that? Make it hard for an MFM. You can't know, do two things right? at once. <laughs> yeah, good. Good. <laughs> they won't play the video soon. Um, don't worry. If not, if someone else sees it, great. If not, no worries about it. Go into your page for me and just put me on my pockets if you could, Milo. Oh. Ready? Go. Yep. Hold on, I'll tell you more. Okay. Playboy Radio is Holly and Michael live Monday through Friday, Tuesday, <laughs> Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern. Always available on demand. Welcome, Facebook Live. We're starting a few minutes late. We had audio technical difficulties. Uh, what was it? I couldn't remember the freaking password. <laughs> Why is that coming up sideways? Look at you guys. You're coming up sideways. Because the phone is sideways. Hold on. i got to turn everyone's microphones on. Yeah, that's... Thank you. Joining us today in the studio, you can't see him normal right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn this camera because I don't know why the hell it's sideways. We have <laughs> the world-famous Average Swingers. <laughs> Pockets, you want to introduce them while I fix the camera? This is Tom and Allie. No! <laughs> oh. oh, now you're messing with her. Yeah. Oh. I'm okay with her messing with me. <laughs> Oh, now them are fighting words. Right? I don't know why them, this is. Them like... are wrestling words. Those are wrestling words. So you guys are from? Can you explain where you're from? Dallas, and your show. Texas, Dallas and your show. Average, Average Swingers. Swingers podcast. Yeah. Could you fill in a little bit while I'm standing over here? What, what, are, you, what are you guys it, talk about? Vanillas. Yeah. We just talk about everything. Everything we've been doing, pretty much. We're. Uh, we're not a very informative podcast, so don't, don't come to us for information. Don't come for us. We're more entertainment. Okay. Well, what do you entertain? Time. With daily news or with we do lifestyle once a month, news? Yes. Uh, once a month, or what we've been doing, which is mostly lifestyle stuff. Yes. 99% lifestyle stuff. Yeah. What have, you, what have you learned lately? <laughs> that you're crazy? Our most recent one, we talked about uh, going to Houston Colette's. Uh-huh, for your birthday. The Jones. Club for gotcha. birthday. Have you been there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the yeah. grand opening. Been you been guys there. were there, right? We were there for the grand opening and oh. two, two weeks ago. Oh, that's yeah. right. Who's the, I'm thinking Dallas. Okay. Well, we've been How was it? Oh, it's, it's very nice. You got to go. Just so you can see the shower. The shower. Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's huge. The it's bigger than this room. Kevin, what's up? Hey, can someone tell me on Facebook Live if it's actually going the right way now in the video? Oh, it is going the right way. Good deal. Good deal. All right. <laughs> You, you guys are busy. We've known you guys now for probably five years. Would you say how long have you been doing your podcast? Uh, six years. Wow. Six. Honestly, I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know what? I believe that, Jay. I do. What'd you call him today? Philip. Philip. Phil. Angie, my dear, can you fill everyone in before we get into everything? Chad, thank you, everybody. Hey, good to see you. Um, Cindy's on right now. Cindy's on. I call him Cindy. His name's Chad. Angie, my love, can you share with everyone the reason pockets in your husband, Jay? Have this going, this feud, this ongoing feud. For years now? For years now. <laughs> She's a mean feud. person, that's why. Well, I don't, I I don't yeah. disagree with you there, Jay. I don't disagree. We went through this long interview, not long, it was about an hour and a half, with Holly and Michael four years ago or so at, at Not in Orleans. Mm -hmm. Yep. And we were all interviewing on the bed, and at the end of every interview we've ever done, I've always asked Jay, or I've asked for Jay, the person in the room, the female or male, for you know, if he tells me to ask a male, I'll ask a male. But <laughs> Jay, I think we're just going down another path here. So, so hey, you know, I, I, I say the next word, cussing. Okay. Is what? Cussing. Okay. You can cuss, brother. Go ahead. Okay. So, <laughs> the, the question I have to ask is, Jay, the sexiest motherfucker you've ever seen, and so I ask Holly. Should we reenact it? Yes. Let's, let's reenact it. Okay. Go ahead. All right. You ready? Yeah. Is Jay the sexiest motherfucker you've ever seen? Who's Jay? That's exactly what happened. Who's it? Angie and I are sitting there thinking, are you freaking kidding us? Is so bad she was on names. the bed with me. She was on the bed. On the bed with you, my man. On the freaking bed. I need to know names. Yeah, seriously. You know. Oh, he, oh, with a freckle on the shaft. Okay. I know, Jay. Yeah, oh, there you go. God. The one time I'm in bed with the Playboy Playmate. 
<laughs> and she doesn't remember my name. She doesn't remember my name. That's what you're concerned about. I know. Right. Yes, actually, yes. <laughs> I need a Just lot of confirmation. <laughs> <laughs> Affirmation, confirmation. Whatever. whatever works. I love the shirt. I need to be loved. Thank you. Average Swingers Podcast, old number 69. Life is short, party naked. Yes. Nice. Hey, Andrea. Uh, where did, hey, Alan, where did you guys come up with the name Average Swingers, Jay? Uh, before we started, we were um, just doing like a test recording. So we re used to record my iPhone. Right. And uh, I remember those days. We were just driving along. That's what we recorded. Yep. And um, Angie's just talking, and she was saying all kinds of different stuff. But she was talking about age, and she goes, well, we're not old. We're not young. We're <laughs> kind of average. <laughs> and I put okay. average and stuff. Stuck it on swingers because you wanted to have swingers in the title. Yep. Right. And go with average swingers, and I thought it sounded good. So, Angie, before we dive into other things, and I gotta make some, I call it housekeeping announcements. What does the word swinger mean to you and Jay? It means being open, and I, I think it's not really about the sex. Right. Uh, I mean, we like the sex, it's totally enjoyable, but. Real quick, can I tell you a comment that yeah, just came up? Yeah. Karen Sergio, no one ever knows who Jay is. <laughs> Vin, oh, Vin. My God. <laughs> so I'm sorry. Swinger means to you. I had to go. Sorry, Jay. I had to read just, the comments. Just tell yeah. Sergio, right, you right. wish you were here. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> what does the word swinger mean to you, though? Um, it, I think it means more being more open and being uh, and being able to explore sexually and sometimes emotionally right. with your partner. You don't have to share all your emotions, but you have to be able to explore them. Jay, I agree with her. Yeah, I, everybody thinks swingers. It's all about sex. It's not all about sex. It's just right. the way it's your lifestyle. It's being open and honest with your partner and your friends and everybody. It's just it's the way of living. I, open and right. free. I've often made the comment that being in an open relationship doesn't mean you share your partner with others yeah. necessarily, but it should mean you share yourself completely with your partner. Yes. Of course. Absolutely. And if you do that, you can have a lot of success in life. And you may then end up you know, sharing each other, yada, 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 but you don't have to. What do you guys think about that? That's yeah, it's not yeah, like it's not always about having to share and right. feeling the need. You don't even have to do anything right. in a lifestyle. You just have to be sort of like a marriage. You have to be mentally committed to doing something with them, whether it's swinging or if you're dieting together, if you you find a hobby, Guardians of the Galaxy whatever, too. Whatever, Guardians of the Galaxy too. You know, you know, you whatever that. it is, as long as you're mentally together doing it and you're open about it. I think that's more. We so, had uh, we had a couple that used to come hang out at clubs with us, come to our uh, meet and greets and things. Mm -hmm. Right. And they had no intention of ever even kissing other people. Okay. Yeah. They just and wanted to. Would they have sex with them though? No. no. Okay. They just oh, well. To be around that's the legitimate question. Thank you. I didn't know. Just to be in the environment. Right. Yeah, they just wanted to be in the environment, and they were always asking you, asking us, what? Well, what are we? I was like going. Swingers. Average yeah. swingers. You're good. Well, they oh, are. Right. I mean, just because you're not having sex or intercourse God or even kissing you. other people, you're, you're still open minded. Swing, of course. Thank you. And that may be one of the reasons I feel the four of us have bonded the way we have over the years because we agree with you and you seem to agree with what we say in that sense. Some people say there's four categories when you're a swinger living in a lifestyle, and that's voyeur, exhibitionist, soft swap, full swap. I think there's a fifth category, and that's what you guys just said. Mm -hmm. People who want to be around cool, open minded, Sexy, if you feel sexy, God damn it, you are sexy mm -hmm. people. And we've been around uh, people that are, you know, oh, you know, we don't want to be judged. But then you're judging. You're judging. You're saying, Holly and Michael, you're saying that couple over there or that couple over there aren't real swingers because they're not having sex with everybody. And I confront them. I say, really, what you're saying is that couple's not a real swinger because they didn't have sex with you. Mm -hmm. That's really what they're saying, Jay. I mean, how do you feel? That's, yeah, exactly right. It's, that goes right along with my um, thoughts on when people talk about going from soft swap to full swap and progressing. Right. I'm like, it's, it's, it's kind of a progression if that's what you want to do, but it's not like a yeah. step up a ladder. It's, right. It's, it's, it's a level playing field. Level. Yes. Right. It's a level yeah. playing field. And it's whatever you want to do. And there's no, there's, there's no moving forward if that's as far as you want to go. You right. have to advance in the lifestyle yeah. is what right. I'm trying to say. If you come in and decide you only want to do this and that's all you ever do, Right. You're still there. You're still a lot. You're still a swinger. You're still in the lifestyle, and that, right. that's just maybe all you ever do. And advancing we, yes. seems like you're getting better at what well, you're you doing. Well, you have to do it. You have yeah. to do it. Like, hey, I'm still trying to advance in bed. <laughs> right. I was going to say that. I was wondering. Eventually, I guess I will get better at it. Yeah. <laughs> you and me both. I feel the same way. I don't know what's going on with the camera, so I'm going to stand up and hold it today because I want to make sure we record this. And you guys are amazing, and we're very blessed to have you in town. I know your friends back there, sexy people back there. I don't know if we can use your names or not, but. 
Yeah? yeah. You want to introduce the, the sexy people back there? Uh, our friends Jamie and Teresa. Yep, there we go. Here. They've been Ubering us all day. <laughs> yeah. All, all week. Us. All week. They, you, you've been the driver, is that huh? Like a term yeah. for something? I like, like it. No, no, they've been driving us around everywhere. <laughs> well, that too. And, you know, they've been Ubering uh, us sexually. That too. Entertainment, <laughs> yes. That's yes, all that. I love that. They're our all in the package. I love that. Package. We and made them, brought the weather with We you. made them yes. watch both Guardians of the Galaxies. Yes. Because they hadn't watched the first one. You, oh, you guys had never seen the first one. No. Great. Oh, I think the second one was as good as the first. I don't think the second one was better than the first. No, it was as good. Yeah. I think it was as good. Did you guys see it for all five of the after things? Oh, yes. yeah. Only reason I knew that is I had two uh, really good comic book fanatics next to me. Oh, yeah, dude, we got to see it for all five. They probably saw it like ten times. <laughs> yeah, and that, it was only the third showing of it, too. So, yeah. <laughs> no, it's fun. It's fun. Playboy Radio's Holly and Michael here in our Dash Studios with the incredible, the amazing, average swingers. I call them Angie and Jay. Pockets called, I can't believe you did that to Angie today, but Angie and Phil over here. They are Angie, the letter N. J on Facebook? Yes. And your Twitter? At Average Swingers. At Average Swingers. Alan, I know you can't see me. I'm behind the camera today because we're having difficulties. All right. At Average Swingers. Coming up. Oh, first of all, i got to thank... Sorry, i got so much... i got, I got to read this you here. Got I write a few things down so that I'll remember to read it, but then I, I don't remember to read it. i got to thank Skins for the bikinis, uh, for Pockets and a few of the other ladies, and the board shorts, bathing suit for me... For the grand opening of bathing Sensual suit. Bathing Suit, baby. For the grand opening of Sensual in Las Vegas, go to sensuallasvegas.com. That is the club we own. So that's the, um, what do I call it? The FCC requires me to disclose those things. You know, you got to say if you're going to pay to do something. A lot of Instagram models got are being sued over a $100 million lawsuit right now for the Fry Festival. Do you know the Fry Festival? No. That was a huge thing Ja Rule and somebody else was putting on down in the oh, Caribbean. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was fire, wasn't it? Fire, fire Festival. Festival. Yeah, yeah, Fire Festival. Festival. And they spent... Over a hundred grand on Instagram models to tweet it out to get people to buy these tickets. Well, the FCC said, "Hold on a second, you didn't acknowledge only one person. It was uh, Emily Rajinkowski or whatever the hottie is from Blurred Lines. Oh yeah, only she was the only model that said this is a paid advertisement. Oh, you have to say that. Oh yeah, if you're getting paid to promote a to promote an event or something. So when we do, you know, we'll talk. Look at Naughty New Orleans. We all love Naughty New Orleans." FrenchConnectionEvents.com. They bring us in. Yeah. We definitely recommend uh, Naughty New Orleans. You guys agree? Mm -hmm. yeah, Everyone yeah, agree? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Great event. Bob and Tess love everything they do. Young Swinger Week at, in Jamaica. Go to YoungSwingerWeek.com. We acknowledge that we are there to appear. It's a Playboy contract. And then Desire Venice Cruise. So the Desire Resorts and the Venice Cruise. Go to Desire-Experience.com and you can learn more about that. But yeah, if you don't acknowledge that you are being paid to appear there, you are being paid to tweet that. We don't tweet anything out we're not going to, or we haven't been to. We just don't so think they, it's sued the they sued the Instagram models? Well, they sued the promoters and everyone attached to it, and the reason they're naming these Instagram models, some of our friends even, yeah. that you and I know very well, is because they didn't, they didn't um, disclose they were being paid to tweet that. There was no guarantee they were going to be there. Right. Right. So gotcha. you're misleading the public. Yeah. In essence, you're misleading the public. I don't like that. I would happily um, endorse or be able to say that to anybody who wants to fly us out and <laughs> answer to any events. Gladly, whatever the hell you want me to say is great, whatever, just pay for the trip and get me there. From your mouth to God's We're ears, good. when Sensual starts to take off, we will bring you guys out and have you do a show there. How's that? From sure. your mouth to God's sure. ears. We should bring a group in from Texas. Are we calling you God now? Yeah, there you go. My Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. Yeah. yeah, Lord Michael. Yes, Lord Michael. Yeah, after watching Game of Thrones, I'm, I'm thinking Lord, Lord Doctor, Michael. Doctor, Daddy, whatever. Yeah, I, I like this Lord Michael thing. I like calling Daddy. Yeah. yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> it's all in the beard and those pretty eyes. Jay, I love you, buddy. You are, you are good. You are really good. I like you. Well, you're the only one I really like in your I, relationship. Right? <laughs> in my relationship. You know, it's funny. I, I've heard that before. I have heard that have, before. Hey, yeah, that's what it is. What are some of the topics you guys have been talking about on your shows recently? Uh, well, we talked about STIs. STD slash STIs. We okay. Had a, uh, uh, Can you explain PA? the difference? Because some people don't get that. If you're old, it's STDs. <laughs> no, that, that's it. That's pretty Are much it. Are you serious? Yes, she said it. that is, but you can also 
put it in terms of if it's a disease, it you, it's hard to get rid of. That it may not be curable. Right. Yeah. Yeah. May not, it can but be controlled. But if it's an infection, you can, get you can get rid of it. So they switched it so, because the disease makes it sound really well, bad and horrible. And yeah. most, and most things have transitioned with all the the new uh, medicines, medicines they have now. So everything's transitioned from STDs because, yes, you can fix or, you know, clear yeah, up some gotcha. things. Yeah. Right. We have a dear friend who also hosts a show here, Jay. And you guys, let me, let me share all this with you. Uh, Bridget Fetessy, she is the Playboy Magazine's Playboy Advisor. She's writing an article for Playboy.com about, uh, you don't need that on yet, no? yeah. uh, about herpes. <laughs> and it is, it would be considered an epidemic if people cared. But the reason the Medical Ass Association Society doesn't care is they consider it more dermatological uh, annoyance. No. Yes. Wow. Wow. It has no problem. It does not cause reproductive issues. Okay. And it's an annoying outbreak. Now, this is not me saying this. This right. is where the medical <laughs> world comes in, and the medical world is saying, yeah, we're not spending a lot of time or money educating the public on it. It over, can be horrible, though, for people to have it. Over eight, Hold on a second. We'll get to that. Over 80% of the population have simplex virus 1, mm -hmm. the lip one. Mm -hmm. And staggering numbers about simplex virus 2. I think it's somewhere between 55 and 65%. Jeez. But the problem is you don't know you have it sometimes. Unless you flare up. Most of the time, you don't know you have it. Right. Yeah. And when it flares up, take medicine. Yes. Now, you can catch herpes, virus 2, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, herpes simplex virus, it's called V2, by even when they're you're wearing a condom. A uh, condom. Candom. Yeah. Candom. Condom. <laughs> so it is still transmittable that way. Yes. But it's weird. Now, then the discussion went to, because Bridget and I were talking about this, ethics. Should you disclose to somebody prior to intercourse, even if you're not flared up, that you have herpes? On our STD podcast we did, uh, you can actually hear me say, and, and I'll say it now, Please. that uh, if somebody has it and they're not having a flare up or anything, I'd rather them not tell me. Really? Really? Why? Because I know after, okay, if you break down the numbers, it's, right. let's just make it easy. One in ten. Say one in ten people okay. right. have it, right? If we've slept with more than 20 people, we're almost guaranteed to have slept with somebody that has it already, whether they knew it or they didn't know it. Would you have slept with them if you knew they had it? That's why I said I'd rather them not tell me, because if you tell me you have it, I am not going to be able to do it. My mind won't get past it. Right, and mine too. It's, I think it might be a more... Do you mind coming closer to that microphone, beautiful? But, oh, yes. Sorry. No, I scooted it back. Wouldn't you... <laughs> All right, let me, let me... I would personally want to know just so I can make that decision. But would you make the decision that you'd actually do it? No, I wouldn't. No. I know, but there you go. <laughs> but consent, isn't consent, though, not the absence of no, but the presence of yes. Don't I have the right? And I'm not, I, I don't disagree. You have the right to your thought. My thought is this, though. I am not giving true consent if I'm not aware of all of the circumstances. Well, my thought in this is that um, I'm basically punishing somebody for doing the right thing. Because as soon as they tell me, I know I'm not going to do it. Okay, because sex and with you is that good. Right, so you're punishing them because sex with you... It's, it's just that I'm punishing well, actually somebody... actually, it is. I believe, I believe. I'm punishing somebody that's being honest to me and doing what they should do. So you're punishing them, though, for wanting to protect your health is what I'm asking. Well, yes. I don't think it's punishment. I think it's just knowledge. If they want no, to play he's with, saying... He's if they saying, want to play with you and you want to play with them and then they inform you that they have this and now all of a sudden you don't want to play with them because they were honest and they were truthful with you. If they would have kept their mouth shut, you played with them. <laughs> Right, yeah, but but nice but <laughs> what happens though? Even if you don't see a flare up, but they are contagious in that moment because it could be somewhere they don't see, and you contract the disease. That's I, I absolutely hear what you're saying. I would want to know, mm -hmm. and I I have been in that situation before when I was single, and the woman said to me, "Thank goodness, two women did this. Maybe others lied and didn't tell me, but the two that told me, I said, you know what? We continue kissing, we can cuddle, we can play um, with our fingers and things like that, but there will be no sex." Yeah. Well, just over, really that. over 50% of the people that have it don't know they have it anyways. Right. But right. if they do, I want to know. Yeah, that's how I would think. If they know they have it. If they know they have yeah. it, I want to know. I respect what you're saying. I'm not saying you're incorrect. I mean, that's your way to do it. Absolutely. It, I, think it, I think it goes, it, it can go in so many directions. Right. And, you know, you can, you can agree on his part. You can say, yes, I want to know, and I'm still not going to do it. Or you can say, yes, I want to know, and I still may do it. I mean, yeah. there's so many ways it can go. I don't think anyone's wrong or... There's no right or wrong yes, here. Now, no, if you're asking me what not. I would do if I found out I had herpes... If you found out you had herpes, people. you would tell yes, me. I would come yes, out and tell people. Sure. When I found out I had chlamydia, which is why we ended up doing the show, right. the show. I, I found out I had chlamydia, and I... And you took the antibiotics. Right. Yeah. And we talked about it on the show. We called and informed the few partners that we had. Even though it was, it was all... Um, 
protected sex. Right. You still right. called and informed them. Did and it text we found him? out that everybody that I thought I could have given it to or got it from, everybody went and tested. Nobody, nobody had it. Me. Huh. Toilet seat. Toilet seat. <laughs> toilet seat. I'm, I'm saying it's toilet seat. <laughs> yeah. toilet seat. Uh, well, I was all upset when I found out I had chlamydia. Yeah. Because I went in because I had jock itch. Right. And I was like, well, I'm in for jock itch. Just test me for everything. Absolutely. And, uh, I came back positive chlamydia, and they called me on the phone and told me. And I called Angie. She's like, hey, I need to talk to you. She was at work. So she calls me, and I'm like, hey, maybe I tested positive for chlamydia. And she goes, okay. Is there anything else for you? You okay? Yeah. And I was like, I'm like, so it, it's okay? And she goes, yeah, it's just chlamydia. And I'm like, well, what? Well, I'm, what? If, 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 you, if you happen to get one, right. it's probably one of the most minimal ones you can get. Right. Four or five pills one time and you're done. Right. Not that you want to get any of them or, you know, you still want to protect yourself from getting it. There are still ways to get it even when you yes. have protection. Yes. So, um... It, it was, it's like one of, it's like getting a cold versus the flu. Right. right. Yeah. Yes. Chlamydia, I took four pills. We didn't have sex for a week. <laughs> Everything was fine. Yeah. The job which took six weeks to get rid of. Ow. Oh my God. I would rather have chlamydia. <laughs> than I love it. And um, Veronica is commenting, respect to all of us for talking about such an important topic like STIs. Part of being in the lifestyle means being responsible and educated in the lifestyle. And this is one of those things that more people need to do and know about. We get tested every couple months, even though we're not playing all the time, but we still get tested because we want to know. Mm -hmm. And I think that goes back to it for me, whether it's herpes or any other disease, I would want to know so I then can make the choice. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll go down and do a semi-gynecological exam, make sure there's no open this or open yeah. that. It could be a pimple on someone's lip. I'm still not kissing them. I think it could be a cold sore. I am, one of the part, I am part of the 20% that does not have simplex one. Now, we'll hook you up before we leave. Th thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I would like to be hooked. No, seriously. Pockets will tell you. I, I, she gets a culture. Oh, I love you, baby, but not today. Not today. It's just Crystal and Mikey just joined us. They're going to be with us in Central for the grand opening. I'm excited about that. Yes. Um, other people are talking about Young Swingers Week in July. You guys going in July or no? I'm going no. in July. Going in March? We'll go next March. March, March. Oh, what a great time. YoungSwingersWeek.com. That was a blast. So the, the disease thing is interesting. And the other problem, because she's focusing on herpes, was the social stigma is considered 10 times worse than the disease ever could be, even at your worst yeah. flare-up. Mm -hmm. Because people on, on message boards that are uh, contracted herpes, now um, let me disclose, none of the six of us here have herpes. We're talking about an episode of The Average Swingers, mm -hmm. which can be found on iTunes. Mm -hmm. Where else? Heck of I know. Everywhere. <laughs> iTunes and any of the downloaders. Okay, can... yeah. all right. But check them out on iTunes or go to the Average, average Swingers. AverageSwingers.com. AverageSwingers.com, episode... 70. 70, episode 70. Check that out. Gotta catch them all. Yes, yeah, catch up. Not all the diseases, but the, all the episodes. That's the name, that's the name, that's the name of the, the episode. Gotta <laughs> catch them all. <laughs> Only you. Only you, Jay. But, so going back, it's the social stigma. The people that wanted to, to hurt themselves or not be living anymore or thought their life was over because they contracted herpes. Well, I have uh, someone in my life that... We've talked about it. Yeah. Your my sister. S my sister. I don't know if she's listening. Playing with a woman. But she was using playing toys. with a woman mm -hmm. and she contracted herpes from the toy. And her only fear was... She takes medicine. She doesn't flare up at all. But her only fear was that she's dirty. People won't love her. And she... How is she going to tell people? But she did. She's like, this is... The right to know that they right, and she's getting married for the third time. So it's, I mean, people. Obviously, are, she's okay. There are people out there that will love you, and and it's not. It doesn't not, make you unlovable. It doesn't make you unlovable. It no. doesn't make you dirty. No. However, she did. She did tell them. So we'll, we'll go back to our friend. We have, we have a very, very long-term uh, close friend that dated a woman for about six months before she said, "By the way, I have herpes." Yes. And they were having unprotected sex. Mm -hmm. Now you have protected sex and don't tell me you have herpes. That's not cool. Well, well, I don't just don't ever tell me. I don't want to find out because I will be a little disappointed. Now you're on my board. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I want to know. But for her not to tell him that she had her, she has herpes simplex virus too, and didn't tell him they were having a protected sex. He decided to stay with her because he thought there was a future there. Right. But he couldn't get over the lie. A few months later, he couldn't get over the lie, and that's what ended the relationship. The hard part for Pockets and I, this woman is now in the lifestyle. And goes to events, and we can't tell people. Oh, I have a friend that I, I know is... Um, positive. Positive, yeah. And I know she doesn't tell people. And uh, I don't know if she does I'm or not. not. Yeah. Not and I'm not, I've had discussions with her about it. Right. And she knows that whenever she, she's had broke, breakouts before. 
And right. She like I would never go out any kind of breakout. But she also knows that if she told people, there'd be a lot of people like me who know better, know that it's actually pretty much safe. It's right. okay to do, and you've probably already been with somebody who had it. But as soon as she told me, I would be like, nope. Nope. Social right. segment. Social right. segment. Yeah. I'm with you. One of the greatest episodes of TV ever that's been researched more than just about any other episode of a TV show regarding its educational uh, stance and what it taught kids and adults mm -hmm. was the episode of Friends where Rachel tells Ross that she's pregnant with his child. And Ross said, but we used a condom. And Rachel said, yes, Ross, but condoms are only good 97% of the time. <laughs> they should say that. Right, and then she said, well, they do. Well, they should put it in bigger writing. But that episode <laughs> has provided more education for kids. Our daughter was eight or nine when she first saw it yeah. and could quote that and remember that. Because they put it in, it, not in a light situation, but they made not... Well, no, they had fun with it. They, they, they caused humor. Yeah, right. But it was education to her because she's watching this sitcom and she goes, oh, I didn't know that. So I think... If you well, she asked us what condoms were. We did right. explain that to her. And it's a great, we call that, in, in psychology, we call those teachable moments. Mm -hmm. You know, so many parents are afraid, oh, if they know this, they're going to want to do, oh, no, no. They'll do less when they're educated. They'll do more when you don't tell them. Yeah. Her girlfriends, the parents won't let them take sex ed. Yeah, they're quite. They're pretty knowledgeable. They're pretty knowledgeable, and, and I'm glad our daughter and our son know things. Now, she's 12 now, but she'll tell you, condoms only work 97% of the time, 3% of the time, they're not effective. <laughs> but they, that was one of the first times on TV they showed, um, a negative consequence to casual sex, mm -hmm. right? But in and a positive way. In a positive way. Yeah, the baby yeah. was loved, the baby was wanted, the baby was liked. Mm -hmm. But anyway, all right, let's move on from there. It, may, been, about it may not have been liked, but it was loved. <laughs> <laughs> Babies aren't liked until they're out of the house. Yeah, you've done everything. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to oh make sure I like mine now. Right? Well, we love them. We love them. All right, I want to play a game with you for... Uh, it's fun. Naked I, Twister. I, I like it. Yeah, Naked, naked twister. twister. Oh, I forgot the board. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, how about just some... Naked Pockets? <laughs> naked Pockets. Naked Pockets. I like that. All right, ready? We're going to play a game called Who Am I? You want to read that? They've got a, they're asking you a question right there. We're going to play a game called Who Am I? I? Dodge. Oh, uh, do you mind? They, they think they need you to move your car for a minute. Do you guys have headphones over there? I thought we had headphones for you. Do All right, well, you can hear I'm me. I'm so sorry, I didn't you? You can hear me. I got yeah. headphones. There you go. Do I need headphones? No, you don't need them. I'll give you mine if you want them. Yeah, they need you to move your car. Yeah, you're okay. Oh, I don't know if you're talking to me or not. All right, ready? Who am I? Who am I? We're going to all play this. Ready? Michael. Good point. I win. Steve. Lord. All right. <laughs> hey, hottie. So to change the subject for a minute, I'm wondering how to pick out a single who wants to play. I want to bring a girl in with my partner and... I, however, every time I try, it never works out. All right, Sarah, we'll get to that question in a minute. Somebody remember that, okay? Uh, okay. All right, oh, here we go. Who am I? Who am I? What am I? Who am I? Okay. Treat your partner the way you do me, and you won't lose them. I'll give you more clues, okay? You almost always know where I am. If you know this, you can't answer. I know it. Okay. Is it the phone? Glance at them as often as you check on me. Now it's Facebook or Twitter or something like that. Uh, you know just how to touch me so that I respond. Be careful with that person. Two, don't operate on zero energy. It's okay to look for outside solutions. Is that a cell phone? It's a cell phone. Yeah. I haven't done this in four years, and I wanted to do it with you guys because I wanted well, to see Well, I remember it. from your last show. Yeah, you remember four years? Four years I love ago. it. I love it. As no, soon as you started this, we're yeah, <laughs> yep. no, I love that one because it goes to, you know, we're talking here about STIs, we're talking about communication, we're talking about healthy lifestyle relationships, and that when we communicate, 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 we can lubricate, lubricate, lubricate. Yes. And yeah, if we start treating our partner the way we treat our goddamn cell phones, yeah. I think relationships could be a lot more successful. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, sometimes I just throw mine around. Yeah, you I, constantly I, lose your parties. Oh my God. So you do treat your partner like <laughs> your cell phone. We much. lose each other all the time. <laughs> so you need the eye watch. You can find your phone. Yeah, see? How are you going to find him? <laughs> well, then, you know, it doesn't, he doesn't know where my phone is. Alan Rowe is suggesting <laughs> naked cards against humanity. That would be Ooh, fun. Naked cards against humanity. Or strip. I, I am no good at that game. It's freaking fun. I am oh, no good at that. I guess I just don't have a weird sense of humor. Oh, oh yeah, I do. It. We're going out after this. I'm a literal person. Person. Maybe we can find it online. Maybe we can find it online and play it when we all go out for drinks after this. Oh, sounds good. I don't know if we can get naked or not, but we can pretend we're taking our clothes off. <laughs> we, do. we played it at a um, Mellow Mushroom in uh, Fort Worth. Yes. And we're and playing that's the like table. a weird thing you guys do in Texas. 
No, no. It's, it's a pizza place. Mail Mushroom is a good, oh. really good pizza we place. Like, oh, place. Like, it's a little chain yeah. in Texas. It's a chain, and it's, but we it's were usually there. centered around colleges. Nice. We were yeah. sitting there playing uh, Card Against Humanity, and then the manager walked by, and then the manager is sitting down with us, and he's playing Card Against Humanity. That's awesome. Yeah. That's really cool. I like yeah. that. And they were our lifestyle friends. We just wanted to go out to dinner. They couldn't get a long-term sitter, and we just wanted to hang out with them. So even, again, sex wasn't part of it. Right. Alan, the one who suggested, is actually saying it's a win-win situation, because even if you lose, you win. Everyone's yes, naked. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so with your your guys' knowledge and expertise, 70 shows in, uh, five years doing Average Swingers, when you think about where a couple, so this is the couple that's looking for maybe their first time to meet a single woman, beautiful lady, you can you can add in too. Okay, I love those glasses, by the way. I know, they're so cute. Do they oh. tint based on the sun? Yes. Okay, I thought so too. Those are great glasses. Yeah. All right. We have... <laughs> well, yeah, all of you. Let's see. Cleavage. If you would just take that shirt off. No. Well, and you too. And, and well, you too. Can't go naked. Yeah, there you go. It's funny. Facebook Live will He's allow him... Facebook Live will allow him to do that, but I can't let you guys do that. I take my shirt off and it still looks like I have a shirt. <laughs> so Sarah Wilson, Sarah Wilson wants to know about where they can meet a single woman. What would you guys suggest? Now, let's let's take out a lifestyle party. Okay. Let, let's remove a lifestyle party or event because that's that's possibly there, and maybe that's the too obvious of, a, of an answer. What would it's you guys say? It's not that easy there, but uh, I would actually. I told somebody at Naughty New Orleans this last year. Um, go to Vegas. Yeah. Brothel. Oh, that one works too. It's yeah. the easiest if you if you really just want to try it to find out if you really absolutely like it or agree not. with you. They want money. And they you want, want to have a good time with you. Right. So, I mean, I, it, we told it, we were on the one of the, the uh, <coughs> panels, the Newbie 101 panel, and a gentleman had asked that question. This gentleman was very serious. He had his notepad out and everything. Nice. Yep. And wanted to know how he had, how he had what he needed to do to get a single female or unicorn in the lifestyle. Mm -hmm. We are big advocates of what you just said, Jay. I do believe, and in every city there's higher end. And when I say higher end, make sure they're tested. Yes. Uh, I, if they could find a way to tax it, the government would legalize, I believe, sex workers. I don't understand why it's illegal to get money for sex, but you can live only till about 42 when you're a coal miner. Yeah. So we let them sell their bodies mm -hmm. to mine coal, but we won't let men or women sell their bodies right. you know, in, a, in a good, healthy, structured, tax-paying way. Yeah. That, that's what bothers me. And I agree with you about uh, professionals, I would call it. Because you're not paying them necessarily for the sex. You're paying them to get out after. Mm -hmm. You're paying them to not stalk you after. Right. You're paying them to be clean. Mm -hmm. And you're paying them to, you know, they're not going to call you. They're not going to reach out to you. They're not going to ask for breakfast. Well, I think in that case, you're actually paying them to be more understanding and... Yeah. Uh, and if something goes wrong, then, yeah. you're not hurting anybody's nope. feelings right. that you know. Right, and there's yep. no emotions. Because yeah. the first time, yeah. you're kind of using them as a toy more than right. anything else. And they like that. Yes. Yeah. That's their That's their living. Yeah, that's what they do. Mm -hmm. And I, I agree with you on that. Now, taking out legal taking prostitution. Taking out legal prostitution. Uh, one couple we know that did very well in that, and they were not um, like you in pockets there. They're not the right. most fit, gorgeous people in the world. Mm -hmm. well, and they you, did. They <coughs> had more unicorns than I'd ever even considered. It was just, I was like, how in and, the hell? But, but he, they basically dated yeah, they the went on unicorns. Tinder I mean, and yes, um, They went out that. and right. found them and dated them. And they had, at any one point, seven to eight. Holy cow! And they said they just started and uh, told them up front that they were a couple, yes. that they weren't doing things so That's how we do it. Right. Yep. Yeah, and that's they found what we do. a bunch of them that way. Yeah. Just, and just, they were very respectful. I mean, they would both text each other, you know, yep. and they were very respectful about it. He said there was plenty of times they met young ladies and um, just sat down and, because we were basically therapists for evening. Right. You're right. You know about all kinds of stuff. And right. Things, and that's fun in itself. Yeah. So Sarah, Sarah, as you heard there, Sarah's also commenting. She went to the X Club. She and her partner have been to the X Club. And they just didn't know who was available or who was not. And to that I say ask. Yeah. Because a lot of the single ladies, we have been to the X Club many times. We love the X Club. Sean and Hannah are two of our best friends, as you guys know. You met them mm -hmm. yes. at Naughty last year, remember? Yes. And, oh, yeah. <laughs> we had some fun there. The Aussie Sean. Swingers, Swing Down Under. Oh, yeah. Sean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but you've got to go up and ask. You've got to be willing to break that ice, and that is tough. And, I, you know, if somebody gets offended, hey, are you here alone? If they get offended by that, I think they're in the wrong place. Just asking a simple question, are you, are you here alone? Because really what you're saying is if you are, I'd like to talk to you. Yeah. You know, or hey, do you mind if we talk you up a little bit, talk for you? 
The other thing is what you said, Jay, and we completely agree. We we spend a, lo a lot of time with single women that we find we meet on Tinder, mm -hmm. Bumble, and Field is one of the newer ones. Mm -hmm. But we do what you said, and we've always done it this way. We put a profile. It's Holly, a girl looking for a girl, but right away. The first picture comes from her Facebook page, so you, you know it's Holly. Mm -hmm. Then every picture after is us as a couple, and the first thing it says, we are a couple. This is what we're looking for. This is what we're interested in. If this meets your qualifications, you know, whatever, da 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 let us know. And we have a lot of success, Sarah, and as um, Jay is saying, like, I used to be a unicorn prior to my relationship and thought it would be easier to find one. <laughs> It's not tough. I mean, I really, I believe we talked about this earlier. You just got to look for it. You got to know where to look for it. it just, right. And not be afraid to ask trying. for the business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, nobody likes rejection, but you're going to have to take it yep. a, a, a right. few times to get where you, you know, where you want to go. Right? And, and oh, yeah. I think Tinder and Bumble and Field and, and these free apps where you're swiping can alleviate some of that fear of rejection mm -hmm. simply because... If they swipe on you, they have interest. If they didn't, you have no freaking clue. I would suggest to not do it when you're on Ambien, because then you don't remember things. <laughs> Just saying. I'm guessing there's a story behind that. Oh, oh, lots of stories behind that one, brother. What was I thinking? Yeah, seriously, the next morning, we'll have these, these matches. Pockets, what? Um, we did what last night? Seven out of ten times, it'll. it's more of a, oh yeah, let's, let's contact her. Right. She liked us back, let's contact her. Those three times? Are you freaking kidding me? I mean, it's just, I'm we've been anti-ambient. Yeah, yes. we've been we've had women come over, but she's on Ambien, and, we, and I say, baby, no, I don't think this is a good idea, honey. You know, da -da 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 -da. baby, let's just have great sex with just you and I. It's not that great, just you and I. No, she doesn't say that. I never said that. She's not that honest. She doesn't say no. that. But there have been a handful of times I've agreed to it yeah. because I know she would not push if she wasn't sincere, and I'm okay with it. And you haven't regretted those yet. Only yeah. one time you weren't on Ambien when she wouldn't leave. Oh my God, that's She the worst. wouldn't leave. It was like a cling on. Yes. What do you call it? Stage five clinger? Stage five clinger. clinger. Or if you listen to couples from years back, coupling. Oh yeah. British show. Yeah. Unflushable. 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 <laughs> yeah. All right. So, yep. question question here for all of us: What lifestyle event or takeover? You guys chime in, please. Is your favorite? If you had to pick one. I'm going to let you four answer that one. <laughs> we already know ours. It's Ange? Naughty. Yeah. Naughty oh, yeah. is flipping amazing. Yeah, that's our that's you guys? one event. What you guys you can't, Okay, Naughty, but let's go with your other than Naughty. What would it be? Probably one of the cruises. Yeah, one of the cruises? The couple yeah. screws? Yeah. yeah. We are big fans of couple screws, not the other um, brand. They're just very unethical in my opinion. I've heard some really bad things recently. You know on the couple's cruise, you get a wristband if you want your picture taken? Mm -hmm. Well, on this other brand's cruise, they give you a wristband if you don't want your picture, but they don't. what it rhymes with? It rhymes with miss. But <laughs> if you don't want your picture taken, they don't tell you this. They wait until you ask the question, and the photographer is actually told to deceive people. Yeah. And this came right from the, after we got, and now we're up to, because I keep counting, 62 emails about this. People who had experiences with this, their photos were taken without their permission. Okay, How I had to go on that cruise because on couples cruise, I got like wristbands all over the place, <laughs> in front of the camera, and he keeps pushing me out of the way, like hot people, hot people. <laughs> He's stealing wristbands to get his picture. Just get his picture. <laughs> I just feel it's a matter of respect because a lot of people can't. Absolutely. Like the six of us can be out, we can show our faces. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not showing my face only because these people's faces are much prettier than mine. But if you can't be out, we shouldn't we shouldn't be deceitful. We shouldn't mm -hmm. just, you know, I just don't. That's someone's job or livelihood or family that you're yep. messing with. So it's, yep. it's not why. your decision. It's not your decision. You got it. Right. Daniel Hernandez is saying, I used to be a manicorn now. I found it unicorn it's and now we are a couple. Unicock. Unicock. Holly <laughs> likes the term <laughs> unicock. So he, as a unicock, and she, as the unicorn, mm -hmm. are now a couple. Oh, I yeah. wonder if they find other people to play with now. We know a couple of them like that. The Met? Oh, yeah, and met, met, met yeah, yeah. Yari and Peter, they're out. Uh, they they met on SDC, one of the lifestyle websites. Sarah, also, that's a place you can check. SDC.com. I think I just spit. Cassidy uh, K. Hey, you swallow. swallow. Yeah, uh, exactly. <laughs> so you can spit and I can't. Yeah. Duh. Good job. Look at that. No, <laughs> K A S I D I E. Cassidy.com. We also like adultfriendfinder.com. Go to hollyandmichael.com and. We don't get anything for this, but there are memberships available. I get a couple months free. And again, I'm disclosing, we do not get paid for that because we ask them to give you things. So anyway, if you guys have a code, tell them your code and they can use that. I have no idea what our code is. 
this. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> you can go to our site uh, and click on SDC. AverageSwingers.com. Yeah. yeah. But you can yeah. click on the SDC and banner or the Cassie free. banner and you get some free. You get some free stuff. time. I like that. I'm going like to click on it. I like that. I do like that. <laughs> we like, uh, you guys ever played Uber Facts Believer bullshit with us? Uh, nope. All right, it's one of those things we've been doing since our old SiriusXM days. Proud to be here uh, at Dash Radio, Playboy Radios, Holly and Michael, Monday through Friday, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern, at SwingTime69 on Twitter, Michael Puckett's on Facebook, and your Instagram, baby? Real Holly Puckett's. You guys tell us again your Twitter and your website? At Average Swingers, AverageSwingers.com is the website. All right, cool. So let's play Uber Facts Believer BS. I'm going to read some Uber Facts, and the five of you are going to tell me whether you think it's real fact or BS, because I've looked it up. To find out. You ready? Okay. Pockets, you ready? Yeah. Pockets, if you miss one, you do have to take the top off. D no. <laughs> no. You're wearing a bikini knitted. <laughs> All right, anyway. Can you get that wet? Uh, yeah, you can. Yeah, actually yes, you can. Like golden wet. showers coming. <laughs> golden showers? <laughs> <laughs> Not from you. you can't, yeah, no, I can't. Think can't somebody in front of me. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, stage fright? Stage fright. Yep, yes. I can't. Yeah. And even if they're talking to him, he can't. I get the stage fright. I'll get this stage fright. Which right. is funny. You can have sex in front of... Right? And isn't that funny? 50 people, but... But, no. I can't be... <laughs> I can't urinate in front of you, but I can do you. <laughs> and everybody here can watch. We can broadcast that stuff on Facebook Live. <laughs> All right, now. Uber facts, believe it or BS. A 14-year-old... See, sometimes people ask, Well, wait, aren't you guys supposed to talk about swingers? Squirrel. This, exactly. Squirrel. <laughs> but this is what swingers do. We sit around, we have fun. It's not only sexual intercourse. I do not have sexual intercourse. <laughs> With that woman. With that woman. Thank you. Is it huge? It's huge. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> She's not referring to my penis, don't worry. No, I'm not. So this is what we do. Uh, thanks. You can say it. I know, but it's funnier when uh, I say it, not you. Gotcha. Okay, keep going. All right. A 14-year-old boy once broke into Buckingham Palace and stole Queen Victoria's underwear. Jay, believe or BS? It's true. What? Ange, believe or BS? Um, BS. 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 That's like true. True it is. What? Yep. How? They, I, they don't, so when I looked into it, they didn't know if he broke in or if he was part of a tour that was going oh. through. And he did find his way into the Queen's room and, uh... Oh, he yeah. stole her underwear. And Queen Victoria, yes. you're talking, you're talking, you know, I mean, Elizabeth's been there for 50 years. Like she succeeded her dad, so you're talking hundreds of years. But, oh, God. <laughs> okay. Them. In an hey, example... Hey, she's the Queen. I do her. <laughs> it's like all the past president's wives. There you go. You would, really? Care. All of them. Really? really? The first ladies. You need to keep up more of them. You got the it? first ladies. Yeah. See, okay. I took pride in meeting a couple of presidents. I don't know if I would take a lot of pride in just doing their wife. I mean, it's cool, but I, I don't know. If they're this anything like Jay. Angie, they're actually the ones doing all the work. Oh, true, true. 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 They're the I, smart ones. I take pride in doing Angie. <laughs> Wait, if you said they're like, I take pride in doing Angie. That's different. She doesn't have to be a first lady. She's Angie. You gotta love your country. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> love your what? Never mind. I don't even do that. Okay. In an examination of 458 pounds of U.S. beef, Experts found that every pound of beef contained bacteria signifying fecal contamination. Oh, I, I, I believe it. There's sure. a certain amount you can have. Believe or BS? Yeah. Uh, believe. 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 I'm going to go BS just to be different. Uh, it's, it's true. <laughs> Would that cause you to be vegetarian? No, not me. No. I can't give up. There me. are, you just can have a certain amount of bugs in food too. Yep. You can it, it, it passes regulation. Yeah. Spider parts. Uh, uh, all right. <laughs> this is this is an uh, exciting one because our new club is in Las Vegas. Our business partners are um, a gentleman's club, though their guests are not allowed in the central. Central guests have full access to Sapphire. Mm -hmm. Here is the Believer BS from Uberfax. In Las Vegas, it is illegal for a patron and a stripper to touch each other during a lap dance. And you want to go first? I want to say believe. You guys? Believe if or it's BS? true, we're in trouble. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> believe or BS? I'm going to say BS. Okay. True. True? BS. Okay, so here's one of those gray areas. <laughs> it is on the books that they're not supposed to touch each other, but when she's giving a lap dance, she can sit on his lap. He's not allowed to use his hands to touch her. And technically, she's not you're supposed to use her hands to touch him. So you never see. If you if you think about when you're in Vegas, the dancers aren't touching you. They're not you know like stroking you or anything. They're just using their body and moving. Okay, around. is it different for women to touch women? 
can like me touch a stripper? Are you asking my permission? No, no, oh. I'm not asking your permission. <laughs> I like to say yes. I like to yeah, I like to say yes. Oh uh, yeah. I don't, you know, I, I don't believe they make a distinction between the two, though the city would find it less concerning. Right. The big concern is solicitation. Mm -hmm. It really is solicitation. Yeah. It's one of the reasons why with sensual there'll be, even though we're we're um, on the same property as Sapphire, the entertainers won't be in sensual. Right. They will be allowed to come in if if couples wanted to ask them to come in and hang out. But there will be no lap dances at the pool. There will be no lap dances inside Central Pool or inside Central the nightclub. Okay. But you can go into Sapphire and get, so you can just walk out our door and walk right into Sapphire, which is part of our building, right. and get lap dances and all those kind of things. So wait, oh, okay. by the pool, there'll be no paid lap dances. Right? That's right. There'll be no paid right. lap dances. Right. Yeah. You had some people disappointed at right? And wait, I think your wife is asking, what do you mean? You pay me a bit. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not giving a lap dance. Shit. I don't care. She's got all the money. Lap dancing for people. I literally have no idea how much money we have or how much money I make an hour. He's 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 Sweet. gonna be the uh, he he can be he can give the lap dance. Okay. I like perfect. All right, let's do another one. You ready? A study suggests people find expansive, space-consuming postures like man spreading more romantically attractive. Disagree. You disagree? Yes. No, so you're calling me BS That's on that? BS. BS? Yes. BS. BS? What? They're all saying BS. <laughs> uh, true. You're right. It's actually true. Psychologically, they're saying they find women find that more attractive. Even men who are straight find that, wow, because the like the peacock, you know how you flare up just a little bit and showing your masculinity a little bit. Yeah, right? but if you if you have to like oh. beef up, like if you have to show it, then I'm not saying you have to beef up. It's a turn off. It is. I think it's a turn off. Turn off. It is if, a turn off. If the guy is doing it to show off, or if the guy is just breathing, you're like, whoa, look at those. But you just breathe in. Yeah, you don't hold your breath when you walk by somebody. Right. That's just being cocky. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, you're maybe, being that peacock. Maybe you yeah, don't. You're, <laughs> you're saying my cock is yeah. bigger than yours. Yeah. Maybe you don't hold your breath at all. <laughs> I try to remember that when I'm walking somewhere, I see my people. <laughs> All right, last but not least. A U.S. <coughs> apartment complex has started hiring dog poop DNA oh. testing companies to identify which dog owners aren't picking up after their pets. I, I Believe or BS? Believe. Believe. I would believe that one. Believe? That's hard to believe, but it probably believe? is. Believe? It's yeah. just that stupid, yeah. It's yeah, it's true. <laughs> Yeah, uh, there's Jeremy not many. started doing that, too, because yeah, people were picking radio. up. Yeah, I heard it on the radio. Yeah. People were picking up their own poop? Yep. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> another question here. I'm not picking up my Let's own. I'm sure, my dogs. Because we've got, we've got uh, six experts in the room here, so let's make sure we get to this question, too. <laughs> hey, guys, I have a question. This is Jonathan Singletary. We have a couple we play with, and I asked the couple, what is the boundaries? And the wife response to me is, whatever you want to do to me, we are good with. It's about making you happy. Oh, trouble, Will Robinson. Danger. <laughs> Danger. It's about making you happy. For some reason, that makes me a little uncomfortable. Good for you, Jonathan. Good for you. I'd rather them give me things that they like and things that might be off limits. So how would you go? When somebody, I'll preface this. When a couple would come into the swing house, so let's forget about our normal life. Let me tell you when there are six resident couples and one newbie couple, and they came into the swing house, and we asked, so what are some of the things you guys talked about or, uh, as rules and boundaries? Mm -hmm. And if they said, well, anything goes, all of this, you would, you would automatically say, I'll lean back and move away. Mm -hmm. Because that's just signal trouble, typically. And sure enough, most of those episodes, something's going to go right. Flag, red flag. Yeah, red flag. <laughs> uh, whenever I hear, whenever I ask a couple, you know, what are you into? What are you okay with? And they answer, whatever. Right. First thing I do almost every time is look at the guy and go, Oh my God! Thank you. I have wanted to angrily fist a man for so long. Oh, <laughs> after that, oh my God! After that, every at least time he so has far, one thing he now knows he does not. Yeah. Every time so after that, we we be able to negotiate down to what, what they're really okay with. So they're not okay with anal fisting for him. Yeah, so oh far, no one's been okay. Jay, as soon as somebody says okay, I'm going to be in some trouble. What do you mean? Oh, because I, I don't really want an anal fist a man. How much lube do you carry? <laughs> How much lube do you carry? I go with ours, are, ours are lubricated condoms. We don't carry much okay. lube. Yeah, but I don't think the condom's going to fit his fist. Look at that fist. The condom's not going to fit. one of those yellow cleaning gloves, oh right? <laughs> Dip it in some oil. What do you guys think? If you were to hear a couple say to you, you know what? Do whatever makes you guys happy. Sure, that sounds good. Would it be a red flag, or would you think, all right, well, this is their rules? It would definitely be a red flag. Definitely be a red flag? This is a, a two-way street. This right. isn't a one-way street. Two-way street, not a one-way so street. this is the four of us, or however many there, 
Right. Uh, this is definitely a mutual situation. Right. So we all need to have input into it. Mutual situation. We all need input because again, you may say, "Hey, do whatever makes you happy." <laughs> like she like <laughs> said, "I want to fist you, Emily." Oh, okay, I don't think that's going to make you happy. Pockets. What do you think when we hear that? Uh, danger. I don't want to yeah. deal with someone that's possibly talked drama. about. Yeah, yeah, they haven't talked about anything. I think my thing is I don't I, if you don't know what you want how do I know what you want right. and I exactly. can't I can't be of any assistance to you right so I agree with that completely so. I absolutely right. agree especially with that. a newbie yes. especially if someone's never done if they've never done if they've been in the lifestyle for a while we have good friends Crystal and Mikey and they have their rules and they definitely have the way they play <clears throat> but one thing they do that it's very tough for other couples and, and I don't recommend this for other couples if they haven't discussed something they will go ahead and do this their rule is that on the way home, not at the event, not even the weekend of the event, on the way home, they discuss it. And if they liked it, okay, they'll do it again. If they didn't like it, they won't do it again, but there's no hard feelings because that's their rule. I am not kidding you. They are the only couple we know worldwide in over six years, maybe one other that's come close, that can do that and not have lingering um, remorse or... Scent? What? Scent? Scent? <laughs> Crystal Mikey's don't have scent. We're going to kill you for that one. Hey, guys. Tom and Bunny say hi. Hey. Um, but I highly suggest that if you approach a situation that you're not familiar with or something's happening, regroup. Talk about it. Don't do something your partner might not like because we're a we, not a me. What do you think, Jay? Yeah, you, you definitely need to talk about it. And... Yeah. Well, we've been in situations where um, if something happens and, and we just don't, um, we don't want to say anything to make anything anybody else uncomfortable. Right. We will totally just um, excuse ourselves or give each other a look. Yeah, I'll, mm -hmm. uh, I'll actually look at her and be like, give me a second. We have to go talk about yeah, this. Well, it, yeah. You know, it may not be we'll be a situation that is involving us, that so we see mm -hmm. them doing something that they... Makes you uncomfortable. Well, that or, we knew that they probably didn't want to do, but they're doing it now. Right. So we yep. excuse ourselves. If nothing else... They're gonna talk while we're gone, or, or yep. we're not gonna come back. Right. Last, uh, last in IN, we were with a couple. Not in New Orleans. Yeah. yeah, we were with a couple, and in the middle of it, she said I could kiss her. And before that, it was no guessing. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. So I had to uh, stop and look down at the other end and talk to somebody. And be like, hey, is this okay? <laughs> yeah. Sure this is okay. Because yeah. Because I wasn't going to kiss her unless the other person said yeah, it was fine. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I respect that. It's funny. I call that no. Per oh, sorry. The, uh, the pretty woman rule. No kissing. I call the pretty woman rule. Remember in Pretty Woman? Mm -hmm. She wouldn't kiss the Johns. That's a couple we won't play with or a woman we wouldn't play with just because we do like kissing. Do we need it all the time? No. But if we're going to play, yeah, kissing's important. So out of respect, we say, you know, it's probably better you guys meet somebody that, that's cool about that rule. Right. We think you're great. But what we wouldn't do, and we never have done because it's happened, you know what? Okay, we'll kiss. We'll kiss. Nope. You guys said you're not going to. We're not punishing you. You know, like, okay, so you tell you have something and yeah. now I'm not going to sleep with you. No, it's not that. It's I'm not confident that I'm not going to be a regret. And the yeah. last thing I want to be to somebody is a regret. I don't want to be somebody's sure. reason for arguing. Yep. Right. Or splitting. That topic. Yep. Yeah, or splitting. That topic. <laughs> I agree completely we, with uh, you. We played with a single girl once and uh, before we started, she said she didn't want me to, to have sex with her. Right. Or actually touch her. She just wanted to be with Angie. I was like, all right, no problem. And you then we didn't have any condoms. <laughs> I didn't stop getting condoms. This was an unexpected thing that happened. I didn't stop getting condoms because I'm only having sex with Angie. I didn't mm -hmm. So after it all got going and I'm having sex with Angie, she's like, fuck me. I was like, no. no. So now right. me and her right. playing ring around the yes. Angie because she's literally chasing me around Angie trying oh to gosh. grab me. And I'm like, nope, nope, ah. nope. I didn't right. off the bed and put my pants on. <laughs> Like, wow. <laughs> wow. You are a wanted and man. Another thing is, yeah, is well, another thing is, is that she said it sober. And then when she started drinking, yeah. then, she wanted yeah. to have sex. And he looked at her and said, if you tell me sober, you've changed your mind, then we can work on that. But mm -hmm. until you until you tell me in a clear head that that's what you want, it's right. not going to happen. The next weekend we took care of it. <laughs> there you go. We say family because we believe blood may make you related, but loyalty makes you family. And that's mm -hmm. one of the reasons I'm very proud to call the two of you oh. family. I won't get too much but you are, you are cream of the crop. I always say cream rises to the top, and that's where you guys are. You are at the top. I believe I'm a turd. It, you believe you're a turd? That does flow, too. So it does rise to the top. Jay, I, you know, we can, go, we can go with your analysis or mine, brother. It's up to you. But you are an example to be followed. And I encourage, and, and we often tell people to listen to the Average Swinger podcast because you're funny, you're fun, and you're real. And that's it. A lot of people in that situation, Jay, would have taken advantage of it and had sex. 
Are they wrong? You know what? I'm not going to judge them. Were you right? Absolutely. That's how I look at it. I'm not going to judge somebody else because I'm not there, but I believe you were right. And I respect you tenfold for that. You guys are amazing. I wish we had more time to talk, but hey, we're going to leave here and go get cocktails. <laughs> yeah? We're, are we up for drinks for a little bit afterwards? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. We'll find something around here. We're in Hollywood, baby. Have you guys been to Hollywood since you've been here? No. No. Sure. Oh, we'll have to take them into Hollywood. See the Walk of Stars? We passed we it. We passed it. Grauman's Chinese <laughs> Theater? It's not Grauman's anymore. What is it now? Something else. We'll do the touristy things with you guys. Minute. Well, it used to be the Grauman's Chinese Theater. Now it's something, something Chinese Theater. Something <laughs> bought it. I don't know. Pockets. Yep. I love you. Playboy Radio is Ali and Michael, Monday through Friday, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern, right here on Facebook Live, Mondays, always, Tuesday, Sunday, Facebook Live, there we go. <laughs> Yuka, I'll call you back. That's Yuka from MTV. All right, what was I saying? At Swing Time 69 on Twitter, Michael Pockets on Facebook. They are AverageSwingers.com or at AverageSwingers on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Your Instagram, baby? Real Holly Pockets. Are you ready? Yep. So swing. I'll do it together. Ready? Are you ready? Yep. Swing, swing, swing. swing. We love you, family. Yeah, where'd it go? Well, it's long out there. We were live. Now we're not. Okay. <laughs> Want to say bye? Peace out. Everyone bye. want to say bye? Bye, everybody. Bye, Sergio. <laughs> <laughs> Mwah. Bye, everybody. Thanks for joining us today.